Yo, what's up guys, Akir here, and I'm here with a little tutorial on Sony Vegas, and I struggled today for a long time. I struggled for a really long time. I uh, made this video, this real life edit here for about eight, nah, actually a little bit shorter than that, um, but I struggled a lot of hours, about five to six hours on how to fix whatever problem I had. I don't know how I got this problem, um, but I finally figured it out. So my problem was that I was having a black screen. For example, you see it here. This clip here is not appearing in my preview, neither does it appear if I render it. And we get the same problem here, here, here here, here, not here, but in a lot of other, um, I think this one here as well, yeah, and the ending, just a lot of clips don't work. And I tried a lot of things, I tried to um, put my priorities to 60 FPS or to 30 FPS, I changed my preferences, I did a lot of things that I saw in the net, on YouTube, on blogs, on other sites and stuff like that, but I just didn't find anything that worked. So yeah, I'm talking quite a lot, but I'm just trying to explain um, the problem first so that I can explain what you need to do to fix it. So if you're having the same issue, it might also be that you have all the clips that are not working. So first thing you need, you can try is to set your frame rate to another frame rate. Um, most likely it's gonna be one of the frame rates that is gonna be in your clips. So how you find the frame rate of your clips is basically you go um, on one of your clips, you press um, the bottom one here, the most bottom one. Um, it should be like priorities or something like that. And you go on the second one from the left or just the middle one uh, media or something like that should be it and here's the frame rate and you see it's 30.024 so that is 30 if you round it down and if you round this up it's 30 as well so yeah what I found is that this is one of the of the videos that works one of the clips that works and for example let's go to this clip here, this clip doesn't work, right? So I go again, I go right click it, priorities, go to media here. Um, or wait, if this, was if this was too fast, I go to the bottom one here and here to the middle one of those three up here. And I see this is 60 FPS or 59.987, but around it, that is 60 FPS and so I I saw that right now. So this is why I made the tutorial because on 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 not any tutorial out there, this was actually a thing. And I think usually Sony Vegas converts your clips automatically to like let's say your project is thirty FPS. Usually, what Sony Vegas does, it converts your sixty FPS on into 30 FPS so that it's playable for your project and, and your 30 FPS obviously stay 30 FPS. Or if you do it the other way, if you have a 60 FPS project and you have a 30 FPS clip, then the 30 FPS clip gets co converted to 60 FPS automatically. But here it doesn't, it doesn't work like this. So we can you can check that if you have this problem, just check all the clips that work go to media and you see it's 30 FPS and one that doesn't work. You go, let's say here. You go to media and it's 60 FPS again. So yeah, you see it's, that's a problem. So how are you gonna change that? Well, I didn't really find a simple way to do that. So the way that I'm doing it now, it it's simple, it is really easy, um, but what you need for it is 
or a second program or you need to open a new um, a new project but I'm not gonna do that right now because so what you can do is you can go I have a lot of other programs that I can do that with I have After Effects Premiere Pro well just a lot of programs that you can use and I'm doing it with media encoder so in case you don't have media encoder I highly recommend getting media encoder because it's the fastest and it's the easiest one to change or to convert your clips so let's go to the clip if I find it really quick so this was the clip the second one it didn't work it was 60 FPS you can check that here um, or you should check that here I, I'm not sure if that actually works <laughs> um, yeah it does work it does it say here frame rate 59 FPS and so yeah it was this one that didn't work in Sony Vegas so what I'm gonna do is open this file with media encoder I already did this or with any other you can really use any other converting um, um, software or you can also do it with Sony Vegas but I'm gonna do it here with media encoder as I said so you're gonna open it with media encoder here you get the clip um, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna switch from 60 FPS you go down to 30 FPS or to 29 FPS what do you ever whatever you want I'm going to 29.97 FPS just because usually it's like that gonna render this so that was the reason why I did it in media encoder because it just takes a lot faster a lot less time than if I would have done it in Sony Vegas but yeah so now I converted the clip to 30 FPS I actually did um, you see I got now two clips here so I would recommend to make it with a different name like I just put an A after it usually um, well I <laughs> only did it once so I put an A after it this time I forgot it because yeah I just forgot it but we're gonna rename this just put an A at the back of it but you don't need to do it it's, this is just for me so that I get um, a little bit more organization on my computer and yeah let's get back into the project in your main project basically and here we are with the clip that is still black and obviously what we need to do now is we're gonna um, I don't know the word fuck we're basically gonna well I, I <laughs> it's on German I'm sorry for this but well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen you're gonna t pick the fourteenth one basically it's gonna delete this file that you already have but you it's gonna pick the new file the converted file you're gonna pick um, so let's do this we're gonna pick the new the converted file open it and tada it works so basically what we did is we converted the clip by ourselves instead of having Sony Vegas converting it and you need to do this with every clip the good thing about this is that the clip will already stay cut and like the clip will stay at the same place where it was before so you don't have to edit and cut it again so this is really um, a tip from me that you can use if you're already getting close to the end of your project and this happens to you just as it happened to me so if this tutorial helped you please drop a like if it was a little irritating I'm sorry I can make an easier one maybe another time but this is just really right now because I just um, found out this way right now and I don't want to forget this so I make this tutorial for myself as well if I get in this trouble again once so yeah guys I'm out and you guys go on with your edits and see you next time peace